Welcome brewers and lab nerds! Today I'm going to show you how to revitalize your yeast. If uh, you started your yeast starter a bit too early and you have now yeast that does not have the amount of cells that you want that are alive, then there are a couple of things you can do. And what I'm going to show you today is how you revitalize it using a new yeast starter. So the theory is that the yeast cells that are dead are going to fall to the bottom pretty quickly out of the solution and you can then pick the yeast that's in solution and ideally top crop it. So what I have here is a regular yeast starter. Go back to the previous video on how to make a yeast starter if you have not done so. Then I'm going to go ahead and just pour off some of the excess liquid. I'm going to leave some behind because I need to be able to stir it into solution. There we go. Then we'll stir the yeast into solution. It smells really good. Okay. Then it's as simple as pouring the yeast slurry into the new yeast starter. From there we um, add a stir bar, this one's been uh, sanitized. All right. And then we uh, give it a start. So ideally what you do now is you let this run until you have, um, or the fermentation is at its most active. And at that point, you can stop it and start stop cropping it instead. And you do that by either suctioning the yeast from the top or uh, finding another way of getting it out of there. If you have a more open fermentation vessel, then you can just scoop it out of there using a sanitized ladle. Uh, another thing you can do is to let it go through the normal uh, fermentation and then crash it and pick the yeast that's in the middle of your slurry. That way you get rid of whatever is on the bottom, whatever is on top. That doesn't really work in the Erlenmeyer flask that has this wide of a base. So for this one, I would probably just go ahead and top crop it. That's it. Cheers.